Hello everyone, this is Coach OG here. I want to first of all say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel and uh, those who have watched the video, how I prepared and passed the, the uh, CSCS exam in just two days. Now, I'm going to tell you how I prepared and passed the SMSTS exam in just one day. Now, you need to listen carefully to everything I'm going to show you on this video and everything I'm going to tell you. Follow them step by step so you get to understand what I'm talking about in this video. In just one day, I passed my SMS TS exam. You know, now some of you might not understand what the SMS TS exam is. Now, the SMS TS exam is the site management uh, management safety training scheme. It's called SMS TS. It's a comprehensive health and safety course, uh, and it holds great weight throughout the construction industry. Now, if you're applying for a managerial role within the construction sector, you will notice that one of the requirements, among others, is mostly two requirements, you know, and I'll be talking about the other one in one of my videos. One of them is that you must have the SMS TS, you know. So if you're applying for a managerial role within the construction sector, construction sector, it is a requirement on most job applications. Now, with health and safety, a top priority for the construction industry, the CITB, which is the construction industry training board. The SMSTS, which is the Site Management Safety Training Scheme course, serves as an industry-wide standard for health and safety competence at a managerial level. Now, you're looking at maybe level five, level six. You know, it depends on you. Now, the, the training program is designed specifically for those with managerial responsibilities on UK construction site and is backed by everyone in the construction industry. Now, one of the things that you need to know is that as I'm talking about the this uh, program and how you can pass it in one day, you need to take time, listen to everything I'm going to say. Now, some people might have different opinion from what I'm going to say. That's your own opinion. My name is Coach OG, and this is my YouTube channel. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed, everyone who is following me, and everyone who have asked me when are you going to do a video on SMSTS exam? I'm going to tell you one thing about it. I work as a health and safety consultant, a CITB trainer. I'm also an MVQ assessor, and I've worked in different sectors, you know, from school, hospital, all the way to prison. So um, you can go on my LinkedIn profile and check my profile, and uh, you'll be amazed at what you will see. So what I'm telling you now is something you have to take seriously and then follow every step that I'm going to talk about. So who is the SMS TS for? As I said before, it's a course for managers working on construction sites. So if you're a site manager, project manager, site supervisor, business owner, or even contract manager or a client, or you want to become one, this course is for you. So as a site manager, it is your duty to ensure that all staff and visitors on site are safe and are protected. Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, Section 2 and 3 tells you more about this. I'm not going to go into that now. Now, the, the SMS TS will help you to make sure that you can do things in a robust and effective manner that meets all and many compliance and organizational responsibility, organizational responsibility for health and safety. So what's the SMS TS now and how does the course go? Now, you'll be amazed when I said you can pass this course in one day. Now, listen carefully. It's not a one-day course, but you can pass the course in one day. And I'm going to be telling you how you can go about this. Now, the SMSTS or the Site Management Safety Training Scheme is a five-day health and safety course for managers across the construction industry. Now, the purpose of the course, like I said before, is to make sure that managers across the industry are adequately trained to effectively carry out all health, safety, welfare, and environmental duties on construction site. I'll repeat that again. The purpose of the course is to make sure that all managers across the industry are adequately trained to effectively carry out all their health, safety, welfare, and environmental duties on construction site. So, it's an non-inclusive course. You know, by the time you go for the course, you, you're going to learn so much. It's inclusive in the sense that the course covers building, 
construction, civil engineering. So whatever part of the industry you are from, if you are managing people, you are managing projects on the construction site, you know, you do day-to-day -day, um, uh, building projects that you have to work with people, the SMSTS is for you. Okay, so listen carefully, and I'm going to be telling you more about it. You know, now this course was designed by the Construction Industry Training Board, which is CITB. People are now you have to speak to if you want to do your CSCS exam. Many people have asked me, you can check my other video on how I passed the CSCS exam in two days. Now, the SMSTS course program is wide ranging, so there are different aspects of health and safety responsibilities and duties that are going to be taught over these five days. Now, listen carefully. It's not really a five days course in the sense that it's four and a half days because what happened is that the first four days you're taught, then half days you do some revision, then the other half, which is the last day of that period, you are now tested. Now, they, they look at the responsibilities, the duties are taught in there, and then you discuss over these five days different things. Now, what are the things that this course, this SMSTS covers. Number one, electricity. And then number two, excavation. It's going to talk about excavation. You know, you're going to learn about walking at height, you know, and it's going to talk to you about scaffolding. And then to talk about demolition, you know. Now, listen carefully to everything I'm going to tell you now. You're wondering, I, I've said it's a five days course. How did I pass it in one day? I'm going to tell you in this video everything I'm telling you now make sure you listen and listen carefully the reason is because in the process of me talking to you i'll begin to tell you the things that you need to know and what you need to watch out for it's very very important that you listen to every single thing i'm going to say and also if you've not watched my video on how i passed the cscs exam in two days go watch that video you see the comments so many people have left comments so many people have called me on the phone and said you know what Coach OG, thank you so much for helping me. You helped me pass. Now, in this video on how I prepared and passed the SMSTS exam in just one day, I'm going to tell you everything step by step, how I went through. And if you follow my step and if you follow what I'm going to say now, you're going to be amazed at what will happen because you're just going to pass the exam with flying colors. I know someone is saying, man, tell us, tell us, tell us. Take your time so that I can go through the things you're going to learn on that day. So you don't just get into the place and just think, okay, uh, what was the focus? Oh, my focus is this. I'm just going to get that. And then I'm just going to pass the exam and go through. No, it, one thing you need to know is that the industry you're coming into is more of a practical industry. As much as you're going to have this certificates being given to you, different certification you're going to do, the most important thing is that can you deliver on the job? You know, so think about it that way. So it's not just passing the exam that matters. What is more important is you knowing what you're going to learn on that day and your ability to listen carefully to what you're being told. So I, I said already, you're going to learn about working at height, scaffolding, demolition, confined spaces will be taught, risk assessment, metal statement, your arms, you know, then uh, uh, construction design and management, CDM regulation. 2015 will be taught, you know, well, I'm sure very soon they might add the BSA to which the Building Safety Act, you know, 2023, they might bring that in, depends, you know, fire risk assessment, they might bring that into fire assessment, things like that might come in, but for now, it's risk assessment method statement, construction design and management regulation, and then uh, recent changes in acceptable work practices. That's what I spoke about the BSA and you know and some other things. The Health and Safety at Work Act legislation will be taught to behavioral safety will be taught. The management of occupational health among the uh, courses that are going to be taught. Now listen carefully. Now when you're taking the test, which is like now the the fourth day you've been taught the subjects I've just brought out now. Then on the fifth day. You, they might do a revision with you. It depends on the tutor. And then the, the other uh, half day, you take the exam. Now, at the end of the course, you will need to take a mandatory 30 minutes written exam to complete the SMSTS and for you to gain your certification. Is that I pass or I fail? Now, there are 25 questions in the examination. You will need to meet or exceed the 80% pass back to pass. Now, let me say that again. At the end of the course, now it's a five days course. Remember, four days you're they're going to be taught all the subjects I just uh, listed now. Then half day you do a revision depending on 
what the center want to do, and then the other half day you do your exams. Now you will need to take a mandatory thirty minutes written exam to complete the SMSTS and for you to gain your certification. There are twenty five questions in the examination. You will need to meet or exceed the eighty percent pass mark to pass. I'll tell you how you're going to do that. Now the results from your SMSTS exam are added to a review by your tutor of your participation during the course plus a case study tax to form your final mark. Now, you also need to attend all the five sessions of the training. You need to, to qualify for a pass. And also, the way it works is that sometimes some people might say, you know what, I don't have those five days to spare because I need to go to work. Or I work Monday to Friday. You can choose to book all your five sessions for the same week or one session a week for five weeks. Or you do weekend. Some people do weekend like uh, uh saturday sunday saturday sunday then they do the other days and another day they take the exam okay now when you pass the smsts you will receive your smsts certificate within four weeks of taking the exam now the certificate is officially known as a site safety plus certificate and you'll be able to use this certificate to evidence your health and safety competence as a leader when applying for future positions now please note you are not going to be given any card. There's no SMSTS card. It's nothing like an SMSTS card. So people might not even send you uh, a physical paper. They might give you uh, an e-certificate, which is it will be sent to your email address. Now, note this carefully. This, what I'm going to tell you now is very important. Before I start telling you how you can pass, your SMSTS certificate is will last for five years. It's valid for five years. Now, a month to the fifth year of it expiring, or our advice, two months, make sure you quickly do the refresher course. I'll tell you more about the refresher course. So if you want to continue using your certificate past the expiration date, you will need to take a one day or sometimes two days SMS TS refresher course, just to make sure that you are up to date with all the latest development and all the statutory requirements for industry health and safety. Now, if it goes over the five years and then you miss that one month, you're going to start everything again. Okay. Now, note, note this carefully. The SMSTS and even the CSTS, I don't know when it's going to be, is not a legal requirement, but note that is a leading compliance on site as a manager. Okay. So you need it to be a manager. So by attending and passing the SMSTS course, you, the, the, it's like you, it's like um, how do I a duty to yourself that you have all the knowledge and understanding you need to carry out your legal responsibilities on site. And remember, it is your legal duty to ensure safe practice for yourself, your staff, and visitors, and your employer's responsibility to ensure that you can fulfill that role. So, completing the SMSTS provides you with the accreditation you need to show employers and industry authority bodies, you are qualified to manage and implement compliance on a construction site. Now, do you get a card? You don't get a card, okay? There's no CSCS card, you don't get a card. Now, is it necessary for you to do it? I'll say it's necessary for you to do it. Definitely, you will need it. Now, how do you pass it in one day? Now, this is where you need to listen carefully to what I'm gonna tell you now. Now, to pass the SMSTS exam, you need, first of all, you need to attend all five sections of the SMSTS course. Then number two, you need to make notes of, make lots of notes during the course. I'll come back again. Ask a lot of questions. Then most of all, find your learning style. Now, my learning style is what I'm going to tell you of how I passed it in one day. Your learning style could take you two days. Your learning, some people's learning style could take three days, four days. Even some people might get their learning style on the last day. But my learning style, when I started the course, immediately it was a five days course. From the first day, I knew that day, that was it. And then I was ready for the exam from that first day of the class. Now, do your homework. Read through the books that's going to be given to you. When I had my SMSTX exam, we had these thick books that were you know, about five or six different books that were given to us. Now it's done online ahead. You know, do your homework. Stay on top of the learning. Keep calm. Get your rest like every other exam. Eat well. Now, participate actively in the class. Pay attention. 
to everything that you are taught. Very, very important. Now, how do you pass it in one day? Now, listen carefully to what I'll tell you. From the first day that you start learning or you are in class, because the five days go, from the first day you are in class, make sure you have a separate notebook for what I want to tell you now. The notebook is what you're going to write questions that the tutor will ask. Now, the tutor is not going to tell you this is the question that's going to come out in the exam. No. The reason why the tutor will not tell you that he's cheat, the tutor is not supposed to do that. The question that is going to come out in your exam will be emphasized throughout the class. The tutor will keep telling you, he will ask one question, will lay emphasis on that question, write that down. That's the question that is going to come out in your test. Now, you'll be surprised. I'm telling you about 15 minutes and some minutes, 15 minutes into the video because I want you to go through everything. I want you to know everything that's going on. So what's happened is this. Every time your tutor during the class, from the first day you come in, start the class, you'll be keep laying emphasis and asking questions on some quest, you know, some parts of the training that is given to you. So if, for example, uh, the, the tutor is talking about and confined space, he will be telling you, he will ask you questions on confined spaces. You know, he will bring up something on confined space, write it down. If the tutor is talks, saying something about electricity, for example, he will ask you questions on electricity, write it down. Those questions that the tutor is telling you is what's going to come out in those exams. So from the first day, you will know if you're going to pass or not. If you're distracted, that's why you see when you're going through the five days course, the tutor keep telling you, I want your videos on. I want your videos on because they want to be sure that you are not distracted. So if you're distracted or you are the type that does not pay attention while the training is going on, you are going to miss a lot of the training. My name is Coach Oji and you know I'm always here to tell you how I passed one exam or the other. I'm not doing it for you to cheat. I'm doing it for you to go through it so that you know that, man, it is easy for you to do, you know. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos this period. And my next video, you know, if you want me to do any video, just leave it in the comment box and say, please, Coach Oji, can you do this video on what needs to be done, what I need to know, and how I need to go through this. So. My name again is Coach Oji, and I'm so glad to know that you have watched this video, how I prepared and passed the SMSTS exam in just one day. I'm doing this for somebody who has requested for it, and I hope it will help other people who want to go into, uh, and who want to obtain their SMSTS. Don't forget it, but don't forget that if you get your SMSTS, you can even end up being a site manager, contract manager, and you just keep developing and moving from one level to the other. Now, one question people ask me is, how do I get into the construction industry? How do I get a job in the construction industry? Now, you can send me an email or read the, 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 the comment below or go into the description box and check all the information right there. And you know how to get in contact with me. And I'll be seeing you again on my next video. Take care and bye for now.